both episodes of it? Yeah, I watched both episodes. Yeah, he was he was messaging me talking crap about it. Oh really? Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, I'm just FYI, we are live. Yeah, I, I know. I saw. Do you want to? We do you want to start the show or? Yeah. <laughs> We just talk. <laughs> We're just talking. <laughs> he said, FYI, uh, FYI, we are live. Uh, Let me go back to Fortnite. <laughs> Facts. What a stream. What a stream. Real quick, breaking news. Chiefs Legere's sending luxurious need to the Titans. Oh, wow. For what? For third seventh round. Seven. Yeah, third and the seventh. Seventh and the 24th. Third and the 25th. All right. Well, I mean, Ravens fans might be happy about that. You know, won't knock what? any more fumbles out of people's hands. They ain't getting back to play the Chiefs again. Wow. <laughs> We we still initial off with violence. Well, this this isn't the still conspiracy, so we're not going to talk football, and we're going to end up talking football. <laughs> How you doing? You started right start the show off with football. I didn't start. I would, it was breaking news. You want me to? I'm going to break the news. That's what we're supposed to do. I'm as, pretty sure. As, I'm pretty sure he had a say in where he was going, and he decided, yeah, let me go to the the Titans. That's an upper comer, right? The Titans. How you doing, Hendo? I heard I heard you were being bullied today about being a vegan. Yeah, you know the whole the whole job just why not the whole job? It's pretty much just Brittany as always, <laughs> right? Just just uh, just attacking you because you're vegan because you, right. because of your beliefs because of my beliefs, you know. Yeah, I mean, the, I mean, not beliefs, not the bullshit. Everybody was making jokes about you. It wasn't just me. I cannot believe. Well, let's let's ask this question. Out here. I, I just this is what vegans do. They just go everywhere, just trying to drum up sympathy for a choice that they made. Let's, let's ask this question. Who you started? Know, you know, you know, started, you know what you kind of chocolate. Who you know what kind of sounds like? Yes, you can. But the brothers against you, uh, against mutants. That's what he sounds like right now. Well, it is because that's what happened. Because we were all just having a conversation, and then all of a sudden, yeah. out of left field, and he and he Vegas called are, you the M word. Vegas are fucking liars, right? He called you I the B word. You you rolled in there posting a gif of yourself crying in the rain because you can't have a fucking hundred grand bar. I miss him so much. But but you can, and nothing will happen. Until the until the vegan police show up, that's right. Even even uh, Roxanne was like, "How do I become vegan police?" And then you lied there. about that. <laughs> no, I didn't. What's going, Buck? How you doing tonight? What's up, Big Reg? How you doing tonight? I hope you're doing well, <laughs> Reg. I just found out your name is Reggie. I, I don't I, like, what did I, you think his name was? It's I thought it was Reg Rush. First one, Gigi. What? His name is Reginald. Yeah, it's it's large, Reggie Clark. Large, large Reginald. Wow, you want the whole Lord. name, huh? Right on the live? Oh. Right. He's oh. just old gumming out there. It's not like everybody else doesn't say my name on live. Suge, you sent me a every package day? with your real name, and then you wrote AKA Suge. Just in case you <laughs> forgot. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> just in case you forgot. Did Jose get his package? Uh, I haven't talked to him. I'm, I imagine he did. I haven't talked to him. You haven't talked to your brother. Wow. Yeah, when was the last time you talked That's to your true. brother? Touche. <laughs> <laughs> or your black sister. Oh. Mm. 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 That's what we need to do. A still conspiracy around. looks different tonight. No, it is not a still conspiracy. We are what just looks, hanging out, Jeremy. Chilling. Like yeah, what looks different? I mean, the intro. The intro was a little different. But Shout out to Dre. Shout out to and Amaj because his beats are so fire. You need you need to hit up Dre and so get some, get a, a intro 
for steel conspiracy. He said he'd be happy to do it. I know I do need to hit him up. I do need to hit him up. Where is Dre at right now? Is he asleep already? He be he probably not, but he does a lot of run around on the weekend, so he's out there somewhere. It's eleven thirty. He's sixty years old. You know he's sleeping. He is sixty. <laughs> we did that was literally the first thing we we said. <laughs> Jeremy, this, this, is, is, this isn't steel conspiracy. Yes, we talk about life here. We talk no football. Do we talk life? No, we don't. We, we, don't. Just, we just BS around and we really are. We are. We, this is like a, one of the nights where we just literally BS around. Maybe we'll take it seriously and What's talk up, football. Jay? I don't know. What's, What's up, Jay? Jay? How you doing? Is this oh, late night? Is late night with Shug back? I got, a, I got a question. How come Jay never asked for the link? Facts. Never. Who says he has an ass? Did you send it to him? That's the question. Do I send Did it send to him? him? The answer no, is he's not ass. The answer is if he asked you. So, Tani. No. So this, hey, this story is getting crazy, and I realize this 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 story is getting actually pretty crazy. Your man's about to get suspended. No, he's not gonna get suspended. Ain't. Depends on how deep. Depends on how deep. The the FBI is involved, and the FBI is like, you know what? (laughs) I got I got some money on the Dodgers. (laughs) Let this one slide. We're gonna we're gonna have let the IRS handle handle his uh his interpreter. That is interpreted. The cool thing is, uh, since baseball is so goddamn ridiculous, he gets suspended for 40 games and it won't affect their season at all. This is true. Still got 120 yeah, left. It's ridiculous. It is, that is very true. But there's the, the story I heard out of coming out of that is they actually busted the bookie in San Diego. We said he was under investigation name. before, I thought. Before that, yeah. Yeah. But then they but then they got the they saw uh uh whatever uh, what a bank I don't want to see the bank statement, but whatever it is. And it had Otani's name on it, and then they started doing the paper trail. And the fucking racists were like, Oh, there's only one of them. <laughs> I mean, to me, it really just looks like dude came up to him and was like, Yo, man, I'm I'm 45 deep. Can you help me out? And he was like yeah, I'll help you out. And that, and he's just, he's just not supposed to do that. Because other people are like, and it's funny how people are coming out of the woodworks. Uh, bookies wouldn't give him a 40.4.5 million uh, credit line. What do you think they do? Credit checks? <laughs> so that means Hold up. I'm right. running a legal sc- uh, gambling ring. Let me credit check you real quick to make sure you have enough credit. First and foremost, they knew he had Otani's, Otani's backing. Yes, he had, yes. Otani had his back. So they're like, yo, you do what you well, want. Like, oh, it, was, it, was, it was in Otani's name. No, yeah. no, no. So what they're saying is dude was at, showed up to a poker game. He became friends with this bookie. He started laying bets for soccer or whatever he was laying bets on. Baseball. And he ran up and he ran up a four point five million dollar bill. He had to pay it off. He went to Otani, said Otani, I gotta pay this bill. Can you help me out? So he sent Otani sent the money to dude, uh, wire transfer, put loan, and then that's what the FBI found. Oh, I don't mean no harm, but that is a good friend. That's what your friends are supposed to do. Exactly. You support your gambling habits? No, get you get you out of trouble so you don't get your legs broken or you're shot in the head and dumped in the bay or whatever. But he told him he told him he told him he had to quit. But a real friend would have been like, yo, you 800 grand in the hole. Stop. But did he know he was eight hundred grand in the hole? That's the I'm sure. I don't think. The, I don't think the interpreter makes that much money. Suppose well, I mean, he makes five hundred, hundred five, five hundred thousand a year. He makes five hundred thousand a year as that's an interpreter. Boy. They're yeah. friends. I mean, that's cool. But he's gonna be taking care of. He's, he's you wouldn't gonna be pay your friend of. half a million a year. I would, but if you rack oh, up four point no, five million in debt, but if you rack up four point five million debt, but that's what I'm saying. Did he know? Before that point, because it sounds like dudes are degenerate. Like we we know several. Uh they don't tell you their debts until it until they're in over their head. That's crazy. Right? When I hit you up, Hendo, and I'm like, yo, I'm 4,500 deep. I need your help. <laughs> I'm gonna say I work at a ray. <laughs> you get all those bonuses. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, not, I'm gonna pray for you on Sunday. Because right. because like, I just uh my name's not, my name's not Ryan. Jay, I just got finished going through hell from giving my boys their first haircut. 
Nice. Ninjas are tired. Yes, that had to be a. As been soon as they got they got out of the store, they ran across the park. And what? Check <laughs> What kids do? Bookies break legs for twenty dimes. Man was down forty five. Yep. Ronnie's gonna be the new translator since he now understands Japanese after going to Japan. <laughs> Sounds like the move. That's right. If if Michael Jordan had a friend like Otani, things could have been different, bro. Everyone's been saying that about Pete Rose. <laughs> He's got. He's gonna get seven hundred million. You can spend some money, right? Four point five million. He was like, "That's like, that's like, that's like, that's like asking asking you guys for like a hundred bucks. It ain't nothing. That's, uh, it's something. Who told you that? <laughs> it's nothing. It's but like, I think, it's but like, listen, all this stuff does not really matter as long as he didn't bet on baseball. Yeah, yeah exactly. They are gonna sweep it under the rug. Hey, all of a sudden you see a bet pop up, uh angels under a certain amount of games. You're like hold up. Wait a minute. Uh, Lagos, Lagos Angels. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, I'm talking about the I'm talking about the La Puente team that plays on Sunday. <laughs> it's a little league, little league soccer team. Yeah, it's a little league game. Don't worry about it. Um I mean, but it is it is bringing up a lot of questions on how they're going to be eyeing players now like crazy. Like, they're going to be really on top of them. As, as they yeah. should. And and good guy Otani shining the light on Good him. guy? Good, good guy. guy. <laughs> he is a good guy. Like, you say he's not a good guy? I'm not saying he's not a good out. guy, but all of a sudden, just this this peppering of, 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 of just – Gratitude and compliments to Otani. Like, why, why? Why would I not? Oh yeah, you like baseball now? No, I like the Dodgers. Oh okay. He, like, he likes. He likes oh, Otani. Man, I like Otani too. Yeah. And it's gonna be sad when they don't win the World Series. Yeah, stop calling yourself Mookie though. Yeah, you grown man. Yeah. He should have been fired anyway. How bad his bets were from the reports. He must have been in the. Oh, never mind. I was going to say I, something. I, I, uh, <laughs> I, I relate to him because, much like me, he never won a bet. <laughs> that's when you should quit. Instead of saying, "Oh, what? I'm well, only down four hundred thousand. Let's make let's make this next one one point five. That, that's the difference between him and I. Like I, I know that I don't have money, uh, so I don't, I don't, I don't go down four and a half mil. They they're not gonna go Trevor Bauer on him. He he nothing's gonna happen. At worst, he may get a couple weeks, you know, whatever. But no, Tani's an enabler, you know. But he messed up because what you should have done is had had your girl send the money, and then it would never got you know. It just yes, put it. You don't. You never leave a paper trail. Okay. I don't know why you got a Tani's name on anything. I mean, I'm gonna. I don't know why it's illegal. Honestly, because they sponsor because it's, it's in California. Oh, that That's why. But it, should, but it shouldn't be illegal. Betting should not be illegal. Yeah, but it's because it's in California and it's legal. It's illegal here. Mm-hmm. So she does drove four. Before. Just just drive four hours, get across the border, go to Vegas, you lay your beds, to, come on, bruh. Your enabler is signed a seven hundred million dollar contract. I don't have to drive anywhere. No, 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 but if you go to me, but listen, listen, I have an assistant that I pay to go. He doesn't have a a $700 million friend, and he doesn't just drive to Vegas and place bets, does he? He has a four hundred. he has a $500,000 a year salary. Not not him, I'm talking about somebody else. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, well, that's a different story (laughs) for another time. But like, I mean, yeah, I don't I'm think baseball. I'm baseball's to, not tell you to, to, to straighten up. Now the FBI is looking into it. Mm-hmm. Let me drive four hours to make this ten dollar bet. <laughs> what? Hey, and see Usher driving four hours. Hendo, did you not? Did you not do the 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 bracket? For women? Sure did. I did not. You were. You were such nice a. Hendo. For real, I like, just ridiculous. It was big upsets. Oakland upsetting Kentucky. That was no. That dude look like, that dude looked like he was forty hitting threes. 
at the rec park on Sundays. Where, that was hey, where, where's, where's Oakland? California? No. Ohio? That Oakland is in Michigan, and that's how you know it was an upset. You don't even no. know what the fuck they were. I mean, it could have been Oakland. It could have been <laughs> Oakland, dude, Maryland. That dude, that dude had been the coach for 40 years. <laughs> this is the biggest win they've ever had. But it's Kentucky. They always go out in the first round. Not always. John Calipari is a fraud. They didn't. Uh, uh, did you mean to say champion? Champion fraud. Uh, okay. I didn't know those existed. John Hobo? John was not a fraud. He, he led that team to a Super Bowl. He just sucks now. I had you said that about John Hopper. Yeah, I wouldn't argue. Could you imagine being in a in the NCAA tournament and just like going up against the number one team and just scoring thirty eight points? Like, yeah, I can. Yeah. I'm bad oh. at basketball, so with, I can with, a, with, lot of, a lot of terrible with, things happening on the court. With, with, <laughs> Wisconsin, Wisconsin, might lose right now. You're down. Yeah, I saw that. Nine, that was, uh, 11 points to James Madison. That would be unfortunate for Wisconsin, but that would be great for Duke. I would love it for Wisconsin. Yeah, I hate them. They as a state deserve that. Mm-hmm. Wow. Wow. Why do you hate Wisconsin for? Yeah, it sounds like a racist state. Because Mega Frank. Yale, not, not only did Yale upset Auburn, Auburn but Yale's also going to get some of their business when some of the players like get in trouble, as you know. They're, they're going to be their lawyers. So, <laughs> trying to be out. Yeah, the, wow. the SEC is not doing so great. Uh, they have, I think five or six of their teams are out already. I think all of three them, left. All of them, uh, eight seeds or better. Oh, and once again, the now defunct Pac 12 undefeated. <laughs> they try to go out with a bang, but five and know. oh, five and oh, with four teams through one round. Only the Pac-12 could do it. Yeah. The who? So, Pac-12. It's, it's not a real thing. Reminds me of South Carolina and final score 91-39. It's like, damn, yeah, for sure. Didn't I mean, some of their stars miss the game? Was that this? I think just score. Yeah, no, just no, I think, just, I just think they're just the best player. Oh, yeah. yeah. But that one chick, I can't remember her name, Cross, I think. Just killing him. Duke played down to Vermont's level game was so damn boring. False, Jay. Duke okay, played their game. That. Duke played their game. They're not that good. Louisville was supposed to play LSU oh, in the critique in Duke. That's in the Sweet 16, or the was it round of 32? And then LSU goes out to MTSU. Who is that school? Middle Tennessee yeah, State. Not, Middle Tennessee. Ridiculous. Yeah, Alex, you won. Yeah, they're going to win all of their games. They're going to beat uh, Iowa? Yes. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. I don't know what Alan Clark think otherwise. Alan yeah. Clark's about to go off. Okay. That don't mean they're going to win. <laughs> right. Oh, they're about she to went, win. She, she, went off against, she went off against LSU last time, and they didn't win. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, because they didn't have a team around them. Now they got a team. Yeah, okay. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, one yeah. more black girl. Now you got a team. Gotcha. Yep. That's all you need. Did you not? Did you not see the longest yard? They didn't. Hey, they I didn't. Did they didn't get the whole. They didn't get the whole candy bar, but they got a Hershey kiss. I didn't see that movie, so I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, well, you know, you don't. You don't like. You don't like nice things. You know, really. You don't like can. You don't like candy. You don't like winning football teams. You don't I like candy. actual. Got, you know, you don't like. I got a bag of airheads right over there. Pause. I, I, I love bag of airheads right there. I love the way Bronny called you out when you said <laughs> he said, hey, "Tell us about pork, beef, and chicken." <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to answer that. <laughs> I'm a foodie. <laughs> yeah, you're a foodie. Sure, <laughs> you're a foodie, and a, <laughs> and I'm skinny. <laughs> you are. You're skinny for a big dude. No, I'm not. Was he skinny on me? Well, this is fun. Which long? Which longest yard? Uh, Adam Sandler's yard is longest yard. It's way better than the original. Wow. Hmm. Well, Roadhouse is exactly. better than the original. Remakes is sorry. 
Dude, I don't know why they remade that movie. Because l- let's be honest, I, I rewatched Roadhouse today. Mm-hmm. It's a good movie, but it's not. It's good for that time. It's not good. That means that means it's not good. <laughs> no, it, it's good. Like it's classic, but it's not. Some of the things they say to me, you're like, yeah, no. It that means mean? it's, it means it's not good. Wait, wait. It's just you. You liked it at that point in your life, and it doesn't hold up. What do you? What did you it say about up. the movie? It holds up. It's, what you said about, what do you mean? Did you say the dialogue? Is that what you just said? Some of the dialogue is horrible in there. It's kind of sort of like the new X Men. No. No. You you were just you were just a hater. Well, okay. uh, why don't you give us an example, Hendo? Yeah, give us an example. Spoilers. Go ahead. Since you okay. want to segue into it, that was in and out. But one thing that really got me was, and this to me was sort of unbelievable. You know, they finally started coming in the back cartoon together. about mutants. Right, they started coming back together as a team. It's kind of like, man, okay. Let's stop fighting amongst ourselves. Let's get together. Nothing bad could go wrong right now, could it? In walks Magneto. Hey, Charles Xavier left me everything, and he didn't give any of you guys nothing. That's right. You know why, Hendo? Much like Shohei Otani, that was his boy. All right, you take care of your friends. And the X Men were his kids, and he left them nothing. Yes. Them Hold up. Let's let's be, let's okay. Let's so let's let's put this in perspective. You have a bunch of grown ass adults staying in a mansion, eating for free, don't work, don't pay any of the bills. They don't work. I put well, my life on the line every damn day for you. What do you mean they don't work? They did fail to save Xavier. <laughs> there were several, several of them sitting in the front row. He left and, he lived a long, productive life. And he put them through school. He lets them train at his house. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Shug. In the real world, we call that grooming. Oh, I'm sorry, Shug. (laughs) I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher at your school. I don't work. Yes. And and what is that? And and uh indentured servitude? There you go. Slavery. He he no, he he did listen. You know, the only one who has any type of beef is Scott Summers. Because he 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 gave him the uh, old assistant to the regional manager title <laughs> for years and years and years and, and strung him along and made him think he was going to be the man. And then he was like, nah, it ain't your time, 40-year-old Scott. Right. <laughs> uh, right. That, that was and the rest of the, they, they just leave whenever they feel like it and just be gone for months at a time. You can't trust any of them. <laughs> I'm just saying, just leave right? Or they, or have half of them go crazy and like try to kill them. Right. <laughs> but Scott stays there. And then Magneto the going to Magneto going to Charles uh, X route was, def, uh, was exactly. definitely different. Exactly. Not really. It, it makes sense. He Your best friend just died. X route. Yeah, he really did it. He he went and proved a point, and it's going to be on in the next episode. And I I, I don't mean debate club. And all of a sudden, <laughs> Mystery Man just shows up out of nowhere. How? Oh, got your powers. I got your powers. I got your powers. No, that's there that's the executioner. He He's been around for say, a long time. I didn't want to say. I didn't, I I didn't, want, to, I didn't want to. I didn't want to. You know, tell everybody. I already said spoilers. That don't mean nothing. It means. Well, you want me to put it on screen? Here, I'll put it on screen for you. No, that's all right. Here, just to make Kendo feel better. Took your powers. I took your powers. Got your powers. <laughs> it was teachers for tax purposes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, like it, it makes sense that, that Magneto would take over, but it also was in the comic books. And that's what, actually what I love about the show. They try to stay as much comic book accurate as possible. I don't like, like that. What's the point of making the show then? Right. Just making a live act, a live version of the comic book. For what? Okay. Because I people enjoy watching. Story, it. I would have, I would have read the comic books. I'll make all you know what, Brandy, a whole other medium for the you know same what, people. You know what, Brandy? Some people just can't read. Okay. Well, maybe they should learn. <laughs> <laughs> and and what better way than their favorite picture books? Right. There you go. So you like you the X Men? You like the X Men writing? Crack open that book and. Get to that page where Wolverine is fighting more. Crikey. <laughs> Crikey. 
<laughs> yeah, don't don't you forget it. That was a hard uh, I, I like the Facts. second episode a lot. I, okay. I did not like the first episode at all. The first episode was stupid. Really stupid. It was really Jeremy, all, all... Hey, listen, bro. You only got 10. You can't be wasting them like that. <laughs> <laughs> You're already starting off. The absolute best you can do at this point is a 90. Or or you be like, or you be like invincible, do like 13 episodes, don't show up for three years, and then come back. Three Ronnie's very angry about years. this. <laughs> Three years they've put out 14 episodes. Retarded. Bullshit. She should get canceled. Yeah, they should. And then they spoon feed you the episodes like, yeah, take this. The other thing is you can't even just, you know, like you're not even watching it. You don't even get that experience of watching it, whether it's binging or week to week. Because they're like, (laughs) hey, here's one in November. Now here's one in February. Oh, surprise. (laughs) Now there's two. Like, what do you... All right, this is just some nonsense. Man. All right, yeah, you saw it, but you saw. Did you, did. you see the last episode? Oh, I don't know the new one. Did the new one come out this week? Yeah, yeah. Okay, That's, the episode was for like it started. It started off pretty crazy. Well, the ending of the episode before last, when the dude was like, "Uh, I didn't know if it was gonna kill you or make you stronger." Surprise! When I do, yeah, yeah. What's wrong with that? So uh, you're that's literally my- that's literally every martial art movie. Hey, we're gonna break your legs, and guess what? They're gonna be stronger, or they're gonna not work anymore. Like I took you off life support, hoping that it would make you stronger. Yeah, yeah. that's what I want you guys to do to me when that happens. Because what doesn't kill you? <laughs> Sink- sinkers, yeah. Sink- what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. But I'm on life support. History of the world. Hey, if I'm on life support, hand don't pull that pull it. Like- you gonna you no. pull it? Yeah. It's not my decision. No, we are on tape though. Oh, it definitely is. I've already Great. put you down. <laughs> Hendo gets to decide. As soon as you go into a coma, yank it. <laughs> <laughs> See? And this is and That's right my- here is why he thinks it makes sense for Charles to leave everything to Magneto. He's doing the same <laughs> thing with you. <laughs> Robert Kirkman said he did it because he wanted to go give fans time to take everything in. Lazy eggs yes. sense to me. I mean, yeah. I mean, it, it was it was life changing, Jeremy. I mean, it, it was just an incredible piece of, of storytelling. Yeah, shit from the comics. Ridiculous. What's going on, Raven C? He did the same thing with Walking Dead, having mid season mid season breaks. <laughs> I, who was it? I, was it you, Hendo, that was complaining about mid season breaks, or Ronnie? Yeah. One, one of you two was oh, like, or, or like, everyone. oh, here's here's five episodes. Guess what? We're gonna take three weeks off. <laughs> <laughs> We'll see you in the spring, and then and then come back and be like, "Oh well, here we're gonna take some more time." <laughs> right. <laughs> that that uh, you know, the way they did the Walking Dead is why I quit watching it when Negan came on board because they they did a whole season leading up to who's Negan gonna kill, and then he killed somebody and they didn't show it, and they're like, "See you next year." <laughs> <laughs> that show is the worst. It was great. Walking Dead, Walking Walking Dead was good up until a point, and then it got listen. Down. I I I, I, did, I caught I caught I caught the hype years later, so I think I had like five seasons to watch. Possibly, I watched the first two, and I'm like, okay, I can see where people like this. And then I went to the third season and was like, it's the same thing. They find the place, they let the wrong person in, the wrong person turns on them. Now they got to move again. How many times are you gonna stop letting people in? I mean, yeah, what do you mean never? Yeah. You can't you can't let them break your the human spirit. That's the whole thing. Exactly. You also, but you also want to survive. They they don't seem to be having any issues with that in the zombie apocalypse where there's no food and they have to sleep outside. They're all fine. <laughs> yeah, and then a helicopter crazy. shows up and takes Rick away. What? And then, and then Michonne finds him and they have a spinoff. Yeah, they have a they have like three spinoffs now, right? They have the Daryl spinoff. Uh, yeah, I mean, those two specifically, they have one. Yeah, Daryl has one. They have Fear of the Walking Dead. It's just uh... don't forget the same old Walking Dead. Yes, Jeremy, I watched The Last of Us. The Last of Us was awesome. I mean, Last it does make sense on the strength of the fact that Cyclops is a trash leader. Cyclops is not a trash leader. Like, stop. Why are people like so no, trash? Because I'll tell you. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you exactly why. Sure. Because everyone, or at least 
the majority of people's favorite X-Men is Wolverine. Facts. Wolverine we get shits on him. And do for Wolverine. Don't mess with Cyclops. <laughs> Reg, what is your problem? What because, is your pro- no, I need to know what Reg's problem is with Cyclops. I need to know. What do you have against Cyclops? Is it the fact that he's a bitch? Could that be it? Did you not he a see, whore? He's did a you whore? Not see the, uh, the clip of him beating those dudes down in the warehouse to Super Thug? I did. <laughs> I'm not. Listening. I mean, so this would know that. So that clip, when I saw that clip, it brought back the lightsaber debate for me. You're hitting these motherfuckers with photon blasts, and well, it's just not going back. He can he can adjust the power of them though. Yeah, I've never I've never seen him use them to move himself around the room though. That was gonna... <laughs> right. Well, this, so oh, there's bro. there's been a lot of there's been a lot of debate on on what his eyes are actually. Supposedly they're portals to another dimension. And their power. <laughs> That's what it is. Because well, no, because because so someone asked a question. Someone asked a question when he jumps out of the when he when they're falling from the blackbird, and he he shoots the beam and hits the ground. Wouldn't hit propel his neck like you know like snap his neck back. Mm-hmm. No, but he it stops can't, shooting it, before he hits the ground. No, he doesn't. He literally doesn't. He he shoots as he's in midair in the ground. I don't know. I understand. I'm saying, but the but the rays won't affect down, him. And then he stops and then he lands. I, I hate Cyclops. I hate you him. hate Cyclops? Listen, I hate him, and I think what made it worse. I just did, I didn't like him at first, but I think what made it worse was what is his name, Mark Madsen, or whatever the hell his name is. It's I think Marsden. him portraying Marsden, him portraying him made it worse. It's like I don't like that guy. You know, I don't. He's not even a bad actor, but it's just it, he was. He was just wasn't even. He just wasn't even there in those movies. Yeah, he was like he was just a, 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 t- a sidekick. What's, what's the acolyte? What's that? The acolyte is the uh, the Star Wars show. They just put out a trailer. For oh, it. you got you got you got you got the you got the the white Star Wars nerds pissed off about that one. Oh my oh, god! Is there, is there another black in it? Right. No, it's because there's a red lightsaber. Email? Like, but oh, okay. I, who was I talking to? I think was I talking to you, Barney, about the Phantom yeah. Menace? Yeah. That was and awesome. they were so they were like. Well, because because remember in Phantom Menace, they said we haven't seen Sith in thousands of years, and this acolyte's supposed to take place right before Phantom Menace, and so they show a <laughs> lightsaber, and so now people are pissed. They're like, "Look at Disney retconning!" And oh Isn't my god, retconning? who said that you haven't seen Sith in, in thousands of years? It was supposedly said in Phantom Menace. No, but I'm saying by who. I don't know some character by by somebody by by one of the Jedi, right? The yeah. same people who didn't know there was a fucking Sith running their government. <laughs> Thanks. All right, maybe maybe they're not retconning, and maybe Yoda is an unreliable fucking narrator. How about that? <laughs> you don't know. You don't know what the fuck's going on around them. Nerds. Yeah, and and maybe just watch the fucking show, right? Right. Maybe that. All right. Can't wait for those thoughts on the hack of light. <laughs> It, listen, it better be, it better not be lightsabers in there, because we don't know what. They okay, it's be. not right before; it's a hundred years. Oh my god, literally right before. Okay, whatever. What? <laughs> okay, Jeremy. <laughs> it just doesn't sound right. It just doesn't sound right. It just doesn't sound right. At least to the table, but it's a, what? It's a person of color. <laughs> 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 Oh. Oh, Jeremy's the best. Yeah. <laughs> the trailer shows lightsabers. People that don't know, know what lightsabers can only do flesh wounds. Thanks. I mean, they Thanks. can. I saw. I saw Joe uh, watching I, Judge Judy the next day. I saw. I saw a, a Jedi get hit with a lightsaber, and she must have fell into the healing pond or the healing lake. Because all she did was have flashbacks and, and daydream, and then came out just fine. I thought she was supposed to die. You know what else I like to uh, recently in Star Wars? How people who have been training uh, in the Force and with lightsabers their entire lives fight people who just picked one up for the first time five <laughs> minutes ago and can't win. You can't beat them. Hey, hey, hey what? maybe there's just maybe there's just better. And what they didn't know they had that power. It happens in football all the time. You know, a rookie comes it in, never does. Never better than a better Never. than a veteran. But most rookies have been playing since they were eight. Okay, she literally. Francis like, Angano only like, popped for like five years. 
Damn, oh, damn. only five years. Well, old girl only fought for five minutes, and then was just like, "I can beat you." you John you, Boyega you. literally picked up the lightsaber for the first time when he fought Kylo Ren, and it was, yeah. a, it was a great moment when he picked it up and turned it on, and it was like, "Yo, come get it." Because he's defending his girl and all that. But no, Kylo Ren goes over there and decapitates him in less than five seconds. <laughs> That's what really happens. Facts. Or he doesn't even bother to take out his lightsaber and he uses the force to break his neck. Hey, hey. And then we would have the NCAA PE or whatever. We got the blacks in basketball, huh? <laughs> Black, blacks in college basketball, huh? Wow, shit. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? We need to represent your people. Hey, I'm just learning about them now, okay? Wow. My card's in the mail. They're going to send gonna it destroy, to me. I'm not going to destroy you. I'm going to fight you for no reason. Yeah. But, but no, oh, I just remembered. He couldn't He couldn't really beat him because he, he had an owie. Because you know, he kept <laughs> he kept hitting himself. He was bleeding a little bit. Pumping, pumping himself oh. up. <laughs> you know, I, I, don't, I don't even... I, I tell you, man, shout out to George Lucas because the idea of a laser sword is so powerful because six out of the nine movies suck. Facts. Thank you, Jeremy. Of course, Facts. Jeremy would know it. Of course. And not you. It says a lot about shit. It's not, that's not correct. I just, I just, just found out 25% a couple months ago, okay? Well, yeah, that's Jeremy's wrong correct. anyway. Jeremy's wrong anyway, but Jeremy's he, 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 he tried. He tried. You got you gotta, was you it. Gotta move, you got to move a letter down some. NAACP. NW, NWA. Okay. No, nah. it's not NWA. <laughs> I mean, we wish. Right? We wish. Right? We get stuff done. Wasn't was there a story about the lady that was running it was white? Or was that? Well, she she was, wasn't she running, running it. Running it. <laughs> she, was, okay. she was a member and she just, it was, you know, she was for the people. Listen, listen, listen. That woman was progressive. She saw what the future held. She knew what was coming in the future because she started off the movement. I identify as. <laughs> she said, I identify as black. Yeah, she turned black. Yeah. <laughs> I know I may be a redhead with freckles, but watch me now. But not no more. All right. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Your favorite, oh, oh, he hey, called, he I, called he Usher. Called his favorite play. His favorite, his favorite uh, say, He called it Usher. When did watch you say this. That. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. What's that? Oh, that's don't Usher. Know. Yeah, don't act like oh, you don't, I don't know. know. I don't know what that is. Is, is that like a vegan do. thing? Is that a vegan thing to play dumb? I, yes. Very much so. To play dumb about somebody I hate? Mm. You saw that. You, you know play dumb about somebody do, hate. Do you hate them though? I don't watch. I really do. For no good reason. Then stop. At all. You I haven't tried. tried. I tried. Why don't I you? Go, I let it go with Whitney Houston. I let it go with a lot of people. No, I, I said try with Usher. You, wait, you didn't like Whitney Houston? Nah. I can't. I, I, Why? Because she because she remember. she made out with Kevin Costner. No, I didn't like her before then. I didn't like her when she first came out. Oh, probably. Or because she was with Bobby Brown. Yeah. Before then, when she first came out, before she could make a ponytail, I used to love Whitney Houston, and then she went on TV like, "I don't do crack. Crack is cheap." <laughs> I was like, "I don't." It's like I've been gonna listen to Mariah for a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, wow. and then you know what? I think the Bobby Brown situation exacerbated it because everybody wanted to blame Bobby for her drug issue when it was her that brought it her. into the situation. It was her. She had a very wholesome image. Yeah. Bobby, not so much. Yeah, sure. I mean, she made the bodyguard. What is that? Bobby Brown was in Go Bobby Brown was in Ghostbusters 2. Was okay, was the bodyguard a good movie? Actually, it was. It had a great it soundtrack. It wasn't. Yeah, no, it had a great soundtrack. <laughs> Kevin Costner was in that movie. It was great. Kevin Costner came Whitney, in. Whitney Houston just okay. played herself. I mean. Kevin what's your, what's your favorite? Wait, wait, wait! What's your favorite Co Kevin Costner's movie? The uh, Water World. No, it isn't. I love Water. I love Water World. You are the <laughs> only <laughs> two people who like Water World. First of all, that was the worst. Water. First of all, that was the worst movie joking. ever. They made, made it. Life. They made nobody, it a show at Universal. That's how good likes, it was. Nobody listen, likes that listen, movie. Yeah. Listen, there's two it's two movies that are the worst ever. 
Waterworld, and Tales from the Crypt, Bordello of Blood with Dennis Miller. Those are the two worst wow. movies ever made in life. Wow. Is, it, is that what the one with the little, the black dolls? Man, I don't remember. I just know Dennis Miller. Was okay, but so fun, well, no, funny story. Funny story is my mom's boyfriend actually worked. He has one of those. He made them. Wow. It's at the house. I actually, I actually. There you go. Yeah. He made a black. Yeah. He made a black I'll, I'll see if I. I'll see. I'll see if he'll let me bring it. Bring it, and I'll show. I'll show it to you. Yeah, he he made them. He liked the chocolate. I the way the way they're called in the movie. I'm not gonna say the name because I don't get trouble. What's the name of? What's the name of it? <laughs> you know what the name is? <laughs> no, what's I don't know what the name of it is. I didn't see it. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Here, yes, it on. is what? I'll, I'm gonna bring it on screen so I don't get in trouble for saying it. So put you putting it on screen makes it different. I, I mean, I, <laughs> I'm curious. Wow, do you know how to spell it? All right, <laughs> of course he does. Oh, you looked it up. <laughs> no, he's debating on no. whether which which. No, I'm gonna Google it. So I can. Wow. Wow. That's going to be in your search history. Mm. Or is it already there? You don't want to look at my search history. I, I really don't. Not at all. Not at all. Chuck my bell. <laughs> but anyway, Ando, uh, as usual, you are in the minority because X-Men 97 has a 100% on Rotten Tomatoes right now for the critic score and mm -hmm. a 93 for the audience score. Everybody loves it. That's seven percent of the people like me who just didn't like the first episode. <laughs> okay. Oh, Jeremy, Soul Plane was the worst movie ever. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Jeremy, that movie wasn't for you. So, so the dolls. <laughs> okay, I, I thought it was. Uh, I thought it was called something else. So, Tales I'm from sure, the Hood. I'm sure you did. I'm sure you did. The, the, the Tales from the Hood. The dolls were called plantation dolls. So he he made those. Yeah, that's why I didn't know what you were talking about. So, so your your mom's boyfriend. So thank God I didn't say what I was gonna say. Oh mm -hmm. no, they are. That's what they called. <laughs> they mm -hmm. are called that. They're called what? Let me let me let me get to the website so I don't. Oh, yeah, they are. That's what they called it. That's it. Yeah, you want to make no, I you want, want to you to. Part. I want you to. I want you to say it. Not me. No, we're not gonna say it. It's rude. Oh my God! What are you doing? He's, he's bringing it on screen. Hold up. Oh, you're actually, you're actually gonna show it, huh? That's what they were called, right there. And, and it's, you know, I can't read it, but okay. No, I can't. I don't know what I don't know what you're, know what you're, what you're referring to there. Right, but leave it be. Leave it be. Leave it. Because racism tickles Shug. It or, doesn't tickle me. What are you talking about? <laughs> There's nothing anyway, ticklish about that's the, it. That's the incorrect answer. The the obvious best movie ever made by Kevin Costner is Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. That's right. Best best movie by Kevin Costner ever made was Draft Day. Oh, God, that was so awful. <laughs> exactly. That so and that was the best. Awful. And that was I don't, the best. I, don't, <laughs> I like Tin Cup. Of course you did. Yeah, of course. Terrible. Terrible. Draft Why? Why? You, you didn't like Tin Cup? Made a trade and then traded back with the same people to get the thing that he gave up so that he could draft a linebacker first overall. Everything about that movie was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Lakers are playing. Yeah, I know he got a nice check from the NFL to make that movie. Mm -hmm. Well, but remember that Will Smith movie, Concussion, and they were like freaking yeah. out about it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, he's like, don't make them trying so hard to get that Oscar. And then they Has Will won an Oscar? No. Nah. He's never won an Oscar? Even for, not for, not for even Man. for the pursuit of happiness? No. Nah. Great movie. Yeah, it was. That was a, that was and a now, and now that? he's not gonna win a lifetime achievement Oscar. <laughs> Because he slapped somebody on stage, he got himself banned <laughs> for a woman he wasn't even with. Mm. Ridiculous, mm -mm. pathetic. What's your favorite Will Smith movie? Independence Day, Wild Wild West. Wow, you have the worst taste in movies. It's a yeah. good movie. I love it's that. It's not movie. a good movie. 
It's not a good movie. At all. Men in Black. Okay, Men in Black. Sorry, I'm sorry. Men in Black. Jesus Christ. Men in Black was really good, but wow, wow. I can't, I can't, I can't enjoy my movies all those. You can enjoy it. I'm just saying that it's bad. That's all. That doesn't mean you can't enjoy it. Wow, wow, Wes. <laughs> Even Will Smith didn't like. Great. <laughs> Remember he did he redid the song. Who, who I like did the, the song. Original? I like the song. There's like a there's like a great. There, oh Noah, I had robot. What's up? Oh, Noah? Yeah, I forgot about that one too. Yeah, robot so, was a good one. I like robot. Seven pounds. I mean, actually, Pursuit of Happiness is one of my favorites. Like that movie is. What's up, Noah? Will one for when one will one for King Richard playing the father of Serena and Venus after? He oh, that's right. He won that night, but he wasn't there to get it. Because he slapped Chris Rock. He slapped Chris Rock. So he didn't really get it. Yeah, Pursuit of Happiness is one of my favorite. I didn't watch that one either, King Richard. You didn't watch Pursuit of Happiness? No, King Richard. King Richard. That was actually a good movie. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Oh, no. Some people were nice to you when you were coaching your daughters in tennis, who both grew up to be incredibly successful, and now we're going to make the movie about you. (laughs) <laughs> Wild Wild West is on the list of bad movies that are fun to watch. I think Wild Wild West was I loved it. I went to the watch. I gotta say, I mean, you, was hey, you went to the watch. you went to the movie theaters. <laughs> I, I yes, we didn't. We didn't. Was, we didn't have. Young. There was no streaming back then. If you want to see a movie, you had to go see it. And and I would go to the I would go to a movie on the strength of Will Smith being in it alone. Because he had a, and this was back when it was an impressive thing. He had a long streak of movies that hit a hundred million at the box office. Didn't he? Like, he? He was untouchable. I wish they would make Hancock too. Hancock was so good up until the last twenty minutes or whatever. Yeah, but, you know, they most most of, like most comedies they they just can't. I am Legend. Them. I am Legend was a good one. Yeah. I didn't care for I am Legend. Of course not. No, 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 the part where he thinks the doll's moving was pretty fucking cool. Yeah, the mannequin. Name it by himself for so long. But they, but they say I've seen. Have you ever watched those YouTube videos that do like um, conspiracy theories? Like they slow down the the video, and you can actually see the mannequin move. Mm-hmm. No, you're right. You're right, Jay. Bright was definitely underrated as a horrible movie. No, that, yeah, that was bad, Jay. That was terrible. That was not good. I couldn't, even, I couldn't even finish Bright. You know they're coming out with Iron Legend 2 with Michael B. Jordan? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's hope, a true story. I hope you're making that up. No. I think he, no. might, be telling, he might be telling the truth. No. Why do they keep letting that man ruin uh, intellectual properties? <laughs> yeah, you know how yeah, excited I was to see a Fahrenheit 451 movie? And then they're like, Michael B. Jordan. And I was like, oh, it's going to be the trash. <laughs> Yeah, it's supposed to be I Am Legend 2 with Michael B. Jordan. Oh, man. Then it was trash. You didn't like any of the Creed movies? No, the Creed movies are fine. Uh, I mean, it, I didn't you know, like the third one. Sports movie. I didn't watch I, the third I re, one. I, re, I, re, I watched a little bit of the third one. Not that I didn't like it. It's not as good. I think the second one is really good, and then the first one is really good, too. What was what was the movie that Michael B. Jordan played in where he was Don Wick? Don Wick? Yeah, he wouldn't. John Wick's the white version. He's the black version. He's Don Wick. Oh, where he was in, he was a um, army. He's in the military. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where they killed his. Everybody hated that one, too. (laughs) No, he killed, they killed some British operatives. And he goes and they go and then they show up and kill his. um, And guess what? I am going to eat while we do your show. Um, That's your challenge. I know. Watch. Jose's going to pop in right now. After I text him, you will. Yeah. Hey, look what he's mm. doing. <laughs> but, um, yeah, yeah. I liked him in Fruitvale Station. Never saw that. I was very I was very surprised to see him back in Black Panther <clears throat> when they went that whole direction. But obviously, because of Chadwick passing, you know, they had to go in a certain kind of direction. So, yeah. You know, yeah. Do you think, do you think we're gonna get a third Black Panther? Yeah, for sure. And what do you, what do you think, think they're gonna do? What do you think they're gonna do with with the whole T'Challa? Like, obviously, we're gonna, gonna get his, it's gonna be his. Well, it's gonna be his son. son. I'm gonna use his son. Hmm. Yeah, but you, now you can you stop smacking and do your job. I'm not smacking anything. What am I? I'm not doing anything. Not eating. What are you talking about? 
So what was that? Wasn't me. I'm just sitting here. It was the mannequin. It was. <laughs> I am legend. Mm -mm. I really don't want to see I am legend too. Really not feeling that. Why not? Because Michael B. Jordan is in it. You love Michael B. Jordan. And you should just and you should just leave it alone. It's a one. It's a one off. There's no. There's no need to have a sequel. It really isn't. It wasn't. And again, I I'm not trying to diss it, but it wasn't a movie that I was particularly like into. Like I Robot was pretty dope. Mm -hmm. Um, but I Am Legend was. I think they need to make a. Uh, a sequel to uh, Wild Wild West. Like we got to see what's going on. Anyway, with Horton. anyway, uh, what made you shed a tear, Rage? What was the part that almost almost made you shed a tear? When um, he saw Gambit in that crop top. Because <laughs> uh, Rage was yeah. like, I wish I could wear a crop top like that. Gambit, not an X Man. He a chef. <laughs> He was cooking baguettes. Yeah, that's all he was worried about was cooking. And and Rogue, I mean, out, there, it, Rogue out there sneaking to get her free going. Hey, well, I, told to Brian, be, I told yeah, Brian. I told Brian that he, he got mad because oh. the 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 worst possible messenger. But I'm like, what do you what do you expect her to do? You can't touch her. How long did you really think that was gonna last? But I mean, you ain't got to sneak around, right? But. You know, when you that's what people do did, when they're not happy see, in their relationships. Did you see his eyes? She did have to sneak around. He's going full villain in the next couple episodes. Rogue Rogue wanna hit one and what like the way Magneto looked at her and said, be somebody special. Important. Man, important. Whatever. Important. <laughs> Storm not having her powers. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that was. She's gonna get her powers back, Reg. But she like, just up and left. Like she just was like, "Yo, I'm deuces." It's a house for mutants. But you've been there for so long. Like, what do you think they were gonna? What do you think she was gonna do? They were gonna make her clean the bathrooms and cook and all that <laughs> stuff. Cause she, you can't go on missions. I got like millions of dollars. Like, you hire somebody who been cleaning right? the bathrooms. Not Storm. Yeah, and she saw that shit coming. Now she loses. Now she loses the her power. She turns into the help. Yeah. You know, so of course, the black woman had to lose her powers. Got it. And now she's the help. Maybe she she should have made better use of them. How about that? <laughs> First of all, and listen. And I don't care if it's X Men. Storm. It's raining. I don't listen. Hey, I don't maybe she. Maybe she should. Maybe she should have stuck up for a white man. True. I don't understand. I don't care if it's X Men ninety seven, X Men ninety six, X Men ninety five. I don't understand how you are these superheroes and you use your power for two seconds and then it's ah, I can't hold it. Ah, well, she was hitting people with literal lightning bolts like she was goddamn Zeus, and they were just popping back up shooting at her. <laughs> she's hitting, she's hitting that's that's with that's static that's electricity. You never, you never you never you never got a little bit of electricity, but Brandy. That's, that's not that's not a little bit. Lightning bolt. So ridiculous. Even Charles Xavier. I'm going to use my ah, ah, It's too much. I read That's disrespectful. <laughs> it's like brain freeze. Oh right. <laughs> or, or cerebro. <laughs> and the worst of all is Jane Gray. I'm Jean the most Gray. powerful mutant on the world, but I need this giant ass Nine. machine to amplify my power. Yeah, and I, I still can't. That. I still can't do what I need to do, and that's why I hate Jean Grey because she's the weakest one of them all. As soon as she, before she can get her hand up to her forehead, ah, y'all, <laughs> y'all are so disrespectful. Don't be disrespecting Jean Grey like that. <laughs> What's so she gonna do? Me, pass out? <laughs> <laughs> tell me, Shug. They didn't make Jean Grey weak. <laughs> like they didn't really make her weak. Every time, every I can't hold it. What have you been training all your life for? The hell? How did you? How did you graduate? <laughs> and get your teaching license? Maybe, maybe she didn't graduate. Maybe she's, maybe she's got held back. <laughs> she got held back. <laughs> no student left behind. They just pushed her along. Oh, oh, Jeremy told you you don't know what it's like. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't know what it's like. But I've seen you're other. Making, people. You're making fun. You couldn't possibly know, Hendo. 
I never right? saw Gam. I never saw Gam. I never saw Gam get tied. I never saw Gam get tied or lighting stuff up. Well, yeah, because he's because he's throwing he's throwing cards. But he has to power those cards. I don't see him ever being like ah carpal tunnel. You know, you know you know where you don't ever see her either the front lines. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Yeah, but you don't really see Jean in the front line either. She's always back at the... <laughs> Gab is all the way in back by the exit, making sure everybody gets through okay. But I'm going <laughs> to throw out a couple cards, distract them while we get away. Well, <laughs> he was a a pew, pew, pew. He used to have a staff. He, he had, he, I think he brought his staff out. Yeah, he throws it because he throws it when he charges Wolverine's claws. Uh, Okay, yeah. like not not when not when the bad guys are around. Uh, <laughs> right, <laughs> only when he practicing. <laughs> hey, so why, why are you why are you hitting hating on him? Gambit was one of my favorites, and then one day I woke up and I was like, Gambit don't do shit. <laughs> He's like, Gambit is a lost cause. <laughs> yeah, I think it's like Wolverine, Omega Red. He's not a mutant, but Omega Red was always my favorite character. I like just the thought of some dude that used to roll around with with octopus tentacles and like it could get hurt by vibranium and adamantium, just whipping people. Yeah, imagine yeah. that. Some of the most strongest material in the world can't even scratch him. Hmm. It's interesting. I hey. know why Wolverine's so so cranky all the time. He carry like. He carrying ninety percent of the load for the X Men. <laughs> and look, and then they went and changed. Nightcrawler gonna be back. He he he, chilly. He he back at the church. Hey, hey, Jay, listen, you're not. We're not gonna forget Nightcrawler's intro scene in X Men Two, where he was he was disappearing and reappeared and beating the shit out of the security guards because he was under somebody else's control. And then when he became himself, he was worthless. <laughs> 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 someone had a good he was he was someone was playing him in a, in a video game and then they were like oh, i don't want to play anymore <laughs> he's like <laughs> he's like yeah fucking wagon that was honestly honestly that was a dope version of nightcrawler that beginning part yeah that movie that was incredible and then he got control back and he was like i'm scared <laughs> no he was a man of god he was like i don't do these kind of things mm-hmm. he's a christian okay Mm-hmm. You know, and us Christians are good people. Yeah. Oh, really? Certainly. Really? That's really what, what, what does that mean? Like that. Yeah, how about that? Yeah. So y'all just Dude. wrote y'all just wrote slavery right into the Bible, huh? Do, do I wasn't there. people have insurance for uh for child sex abuse? I wouldn't like, I like don't churches do. I stopped going to church a long time ago. Oh, uh, but you said we. Yeah, right. You said we putting yourself right in there. Nope. Mm. What, what church are you talking about? Because I'm talking about just I'm talking about the church of X Men. Something. The church. The church of Peter Griffin. Okay, that's the church I go to. The Fonz. So you turn into Chris Tucker. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, what do you guys uh? When when is the draft? Draft's coming up soon, huh? Probably April, April something, April sixteenth, April twenty third, somewhere around there. You know, I just realized, Brandy, I'll be in Vegas for is is uh Canelo fighting in Vegas for Cinco de Mayo? Uh, you know, I'm not sure if it's in Vegas. I would I would guess I'm, so. But yeah, I'll be in Vegas for that. Yeah. Is that, is that significant, white man? <laughs> oh, no, because I'm going to be celebrating Vegas. I'm going to have my, my Corona. Okay. And I'll be, you know. Hopefully that specific one. Right. Yeah, I actually, well, I'm a, I've been drinking. I don't know. The Yesterday I was sitting at work and I was like, I want Coronas. So I went and got a 12 pack today. Mm. I drank like three and I'm like, eh. <laughs> But then you want some more when you go to Vegas, huh? I'm going to drink a lot more when I go to Vegas. But you just said it was there. Who's there? In Vegas, Vegas, I don't know what it is, but when I'm in Vegas, I like to drink. When like not, Mexico, like, right. Mexico, Vegas are my two places where, like, I'm there. I have to Or, or your home? Or home no, base? Really no, but I'll drink a, a few drinks here. Like, in Vegas, like, I, I get turned. You sure? 
Because we have some streams where it says otherwise. What streams? Mm, let's just, let's like go back to the last one. Let's go to Ring Kings. Let's go back to the last one. I didn't bring to myself. But the end. Kind of forgot what I was saying, but it's okay. Good times, though. Great times. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. Alcoholics drink until they can't feel no more. Facts. Sugar brazing his inner Vin Diesel with Coronas. I don't know what it was. I was sitting at work and I was just like, I want Corona. Did you see the Carmelo and Eli Manning commercial for Coronas? Is that what happened? No, <laughs> yes, no. I happened. I was just sitting at work, list watching you two guys argue in our group chat. We can't buy a bucket. We can buy a bucket of Coronas. <laughs> we don't argue. And they'll say something that's wrong, and I correct him. Who you tell who's arguing? He said we were you arguing. Like who yeah, argue. Huh. So he agrees. Right. right. I just say no. stuff, and then Brody gives his wrong take on it. It happens. <clears throat> Still waiting for that. Thank God. Thank God. Poor Kendo. <laughs> thank God it's I didn't coming. bet on the Lakers. Thank God I didn't bet on the Lakers scoring a, over 124 points. Yes, Lord. They might not hit a hundred. They yeah. might not. Yeah, they yeah, does seventy nine. Like, you know what? You know what? I want to hear one day. I want to hear Shug say one day. Thank God I didn't bet. I just said that. No. 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 Just in general. Just thank God I didn't bet. Oh well. That's, 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 oh okay. It's illegal. Um, it was a good UFC fight tomorrow, right, Bernie? Is there though? Yeah, it's a fight night. Rose Rose Yamanunas coming back. Nama Yunus. Uh, Nama Yunus, Yunus. Just, you know, it's a little too up and down. I, I don't care anymore. You don't care anymore? How dare you? I just, you I just don't. It's a good UFC fight on Roadhouse. And he said it was bad. Yeah, well, he was he, he was the was UFC bad. fighter. I need to so, I need to find something to watch though, for real. How do you go from a UFC fighter to a bouncer? Because. He was in the championship. He was in a championship fight with his best friend, and he killed him, or he maimed him, or hurt him, or something. Oh, man, he was oh. too good. No, he wasn't too well. He was yeah, too good. So he you had know, to get that's, out of the cage. That's something Hendo would do. Hendo wouldn't let his friend had, borrow money. Hendo no, would he, definitely kill his no. friend in a fight. He had him beat, and the dude was knocked out. But he went back and kept hitting him, and the ref grabbed him, and he pushed the ref off and pounded him some more. Why? The, that's the question that they, the bad guys kept asking. Like, why'd you do it? And he's like, you won't, like, a, me when, he was was like, you won't like me when I'm angry. Was there a reason? Because he said he didn't like to get mad. And Wait, no, no, no. Reason, no, no, no. I'm sorry. Was there a reason that he beat his friend to death? <laughs> no. None. Sounds like a great movie. Right. Dumbest, sounds, dumbest. sounds like a, a grade A movie. It was not. <laughs> but Greg was kind of swollen. With I mean, all that cocaine he's been starting. Is, is cocaine he's... an impediment to acting? <laughs> <laughs> he was probably fine. I, don't I mean, know for some Taylor actors, for all some games he was playing with the cocaine. For some, hey, for some, for some actors, it makes them act better. Yeah. True. They do a little line and. It's time. You know, it happens, it happens with YouTubers too. Sniffing keyboards, come back refreshed. Let's go. Let's keep it going. No. Um, what games are you guys playing right now? What are you playing? I know you, you did you get the last of the Ronin or whatever game? The yeah. last Ronin. It's not the name of the game. <laughs> it's the Rise of the Ronin. Rise, whatever. Rise, last, whatever. Are you playing? Did you get it, uh, Hendo and Brody? No, I didn't get it. You got a lot, Hendo. Go ahead. I didn't get it. I just like messing with Brody. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a friend, Brody. Right? I didn't get it either. Uh, I got Dragon's Dogma too. And I was, I was. That's what I had been playing before we logged on here. Uh, haven't really 
played any of the game yet, though. I spent all of the time designing my characters, which I found out is, is what I really like to do in games now. So I created my characters, and then I did one little mission. I love Dragon's Dogma. It, it, that's a fantastic series. Are you getting Rise of the Ronin? Someday. <laughs> I texted my nephew about it. Uh, I didn't mention the PS5 because I didn't want to seem like that was the only reason I was texting. So we <laughs> talked for a while. <laughs> and I'm going to hit him up again next week and be like, I need the PS5 back. <laughs> so I'm considering mm-hmm. it. And, uh, <laughs> that you're setting him up? I'm not setting him up. I'm saying I didn't want him to feel like that. So I'm going to wait. Uh, did you talk to him before this? Yeah, I mean. Recently? Yeah, right, he's setting him up. Oh. Hey, how you doing? All right, I'll, I'll see you next week. That's not what I said. <laughs> he, he got a new job. We talked about his new job and everything. And so Next week, you're going to break his helmet. Got it. Nice, no, fine. Nice. No, got a new job. You can afford a PS5. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so I'm going to get Rise of the Ronin once I get my PS5 back. But you got, you got Xbox. You got Xbox Series X, right? Yeah. Okay. That's where I got Dragon's Dogma 2. And two PlayStation 5s. I don't have two PlayStation 5s. He has One. zero. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, you got one. zero. <laughs> He's got none. <laughs> I have one you might as well just you might as well just wait for the pro to come out. You just get another. Uh, one. You might as well wait for the pro to come out. That's what I was thinking. I looked. It's like not coming out till December. I'm not doing be fine. I mean, you're not going to probably get your PS5 back till December. I'm getting the PS5 back very soon, and I'm going to play not. Rise of the Ronin. And I'm, I'm going to finish Spider Man. Rodney plays seven different games every month. It's not even. It's not accurate. That depends. It depends on the release calendar. What does Brody get first, Katana or the PS5? Yeah, I wonder. I know. <laughs> I'm gonna open this thing one day. You're not gonna open it one day. He might. Get, he might get it. He might get it tomorrow. LBHT doing? money must be nice. Yep. No, it's not. Yeah, I was straight out of pocket. Heavy too. I put that PS5 on uh, on a payment plan when when Ferris was out here because he wanted to go to the game store. And then you, you didn't even get to play it. I got to play it. Where's Ferris? Is he at a, he a, a party I, again? He might be working. Hopefully, isn't he working? I don't know. It's a... Does Does Ferris ever really work? No, he does. He's got a real job. Oh, outside you don't have a real job, Hendo? Outside? No, I'm saying he has a real job outside his family job. Hmm. Oh, wow. You know, people is... do not respect the work that we do at Array. They don't. A friend of mine was, <laughs> like, <laughs> friend of mine was we'll talking about it, and, and, and she was like, I forget what was said right before. She's like, oh, but that's because I actually work. And I'm like, as opposed to what? <laughs> 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 and she's like, I'm supposed to hashtag no work Fridays and blah blah blah. I'm like, fucking, that's the we ha- I have that because I do my work. Okay. Yeah, we, haven't, we haven't had no work Friday in a while. I was so close. And then they put 28 locations in my folder. <laughs> I mean, I had no afternoon work Friday. I, I got a, uh, they put one sheet in my, Order for Monday, those 17 locations. And you know what your what your friend Kristen did? She hit me up on, in the chat. She's like, Hey, are you in the in the like the, the word document? And I was like, No, I don't think so. Yeah, when I check, I'm like, No, I'm not in there. And then like five minutes later, she's like, I added two locations to it. <laughs> the fuck's wrong with you? Why would you do that? Because Brian is the best worker we got. <laughs> Try to be Facts. sneaky if you're gonna do that. Don't announce the shit. <laughs> she likes Kristen likes being upfront and honest about it. Straight Straight out of pocket. Pocket. <laughs> that's 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 Hendo. That's Hendo every time he's on on stream. Just straight out of pocket. 
Yeah, too. What? What? How are you so doing, Hendo? Everything, everything going well? Chilling. Home alone. It's wonderful. You uh, getting ready for your stream tomorrow, Yolanda? Huh? Um, oh. The weekly the- show on Raven's Talk with Yolanda? Was there a weekly talk last week? It was big moves. Y'all signed <laughs> some, some corner, right? And then isn't there, some, isn't there like isn't there uh oh, isn't there uh hanging with handle tomorrow? <laughs> no. Yeah, that, that's I forgot no, about that. No, it's not. We're becoming the we're becoming the Houston Ravens. We signed all the Texans. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, if they weren't good, because they're listen, uh, Jones to tackle. They're trying to pump him up as like, oh, he was so good. He had a pimp of grade. Bro, he played what twenty three sla- snaps last season. Well, he played more than that, but he had a he had a seventy five grade in twenty twenty two. The <laughs> other three seasons he's been in the league, it's been under fifty. Right. And that's, what, and that's what. And then the Ravens guy was like, yeah, that's what I want to see from my left tackle. He was awesome in twenty twenty two. I'm like, bro, we're heading into twenty twenty four. Right. Why, why are we talking about 2022? Just because they can spin that narrative. Ozzy's out here cooking. Ozzy's out here making moves. <laughs> he brought in two wide receivers for visits. <laughs> I bet you Yolanda Hendo turns into Little John. What? <laughs> okay. You see the trailer for Beetlejuice? Okay. Nope. Yeah, it's a teaser trailer came out. I just it, it's another one. Don't need it. Just need you know it. what? You don't know, read somebody's script that's not a <laughs> sequel and green light it. That's all. Right. We the tried that, and then we get, then we get and then movie. we get bad movies. Remember that movie no. with Will Smith and the Sun? No, every single movie was an unknown IP to begin with. Okay. True. At some point, make some new stuff. True. Right. No more, no more Justice League. Let that go. The Penguin no teaser more, was good. I didn't get to see that. Or Aquaman. Let it no go. More, no more Zack Snyder. Period. Thanks, my man. You, like Zack Snyder? you know what? Let me redo all of my movies. <laughs> Don't redo Aquaman too. That was terrible. Was it terrible? I don't know why you watched it. The first one wasn't good. True. But they, and they, but they tried to make it like Thor, Ragnarok, with a bunch of comedy. It didn't work. I feel bad about that, Jay. That's how I feel about it. I mean, you can take your time and, and come to your own conclusion, but I, I feel like what on earth could possibly be the point of Happy Gilmore 2? I never saw Happy it was, Gilmore it was nothing. It was just an Adam Sandler vehicle. Yeah. There's nothing to it. You should watch Happy Gilmore. Happy Gilmore's funny. Is it? Eh, it's okay. What's your favorite Adam Sandler movie? I, just, I feel like he's like a he's a contrarian who gets mad if you dislike anything. True. It's really weird. That's it's really Adam really Sandler. weird. Hmm. I mean, because why do why do you guys hate everything? I don't hate everything. You, don't. you literally hate everything. Literally... But I just asked you a damn question. What's what's your favorite and Adam Sandler thinking. movie? Hmm. I didn't see Uncut Gems. What's yours, Shug? I got to think about this. Uh, Waterboy or... That's it. Waterboy. Probably Waterboy. Well, 50 First Dates is pretty cool. I really I really love 50 First Dates. I loved it. Um... You know, it might be fifty first dates. I'm gonna go fifty first dates. I like that one a lot. And you know, Adam Sandler is a—I oh, shouldn't even say surprisingly, but you know, he's a surprisingly decent actor. True. Wedding singer. Wedding, that was that was a good. I like the wedding singer. I really like the uh, the movie he did with the basketball player. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think Hustle or whatever it was called. I like that a lot. Oh, with the okay, yeah, 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 yeah. 
with yeah, like Doctor J in it. Who's yeah. not nearly as good as the character he was portraying <laughs> in the movie. So awkward. And I Matthew actually like Grown Ups too. Grown Ups two is actually pretty funny. Mm, I haven't seen those. Grown Ups? Nope. I don't know. Okay. Um. I never really cared for Billy Madison. Nah. I saw it. Mr. Deeds was okay. I saw it. That was bad times. That and Little Nicky. That was awful. Oh, gosh. Little Nicky. Nicky. Oh, you know what? Big Daddy. I love Big Daddy. I never saw that. What do you What do you watch? When did you start watching movies? I don't 1970 something. Mm. Then when did you start? More like 1946. I've never stopped. Okay. What do you do? You watch anything? I watch any and everything, bro. No, except Adam Sandler. True. I saw I saw a movie I thought was one of Adam Sandler's. Who was it? Ricky Stenicky. Yeah. Uh oh. No. Lakers up by nine. John Cena classic. John Cena classic. Zach Efron. Okay, so so let me ask you a question. Who is the best wrestler turn actor? Batista. Damn, that's a low ball, but I'll have to agree with Brandy. You have Hogan, Rock. No. No. Batista, John Cena. But John Cena does some funny stuff. He does. He's in some funny stuff. But Batista's a better actor than him. True. I saw the movie. You see the movie with him as uh, during the apocalypse. Is that Zack Snyder. Um. Uh, well, I thought it was M Night Shyamalan. In my, yeah, well, it depends on which one you're talking about. I, I thought he was talking about the zombie one in Vegas. No, no, no. The most, the more recent one that came out with him. And yeah, it's, it's where they're and, they're the four Chad horsemen. Or I didn't see that one. Yeah, that was decent. I wish Piper did more movies because they lived in the best performance. They lived is they lived is the best performance by a wrestler they live. in a movie. Uh, That's true, Jack. And I like Peaceman. I just think John, what it, a lot of John Cena's movies have been. What he's done, his character has been hilarious. Yeah, but he, it's not really him. Right. You know, he's not hilarious. How do you know that? Because I've seen him for years in wrestling not be funny. <laughs> you don't like the Doctor uh, doctor of Thugonomics? No, what the hell is that? that? Oh, no, John Cena. He used to be a rapper. I mean, he still rapped, but he <laughs> told me, like, he was like hardcore. Yeah. Bucket hats, jerseys. John Cena, hardcore. The magnificent. That's what it was. Yeah, no, he, he wasn't really hardcore. He was the the white frat guy's idea of hardcore. The vanilla he ice. Was of the doctor of, he was doctor of Thugonomics. It has Thug in there. Hardcore. God, Bronny. Oh, that was terrible. And they gave him. No, the- that, was it. that wasn't even it, Jade. When he was dressing like the Skittles, that was when. Uh, uh, the Rock made fun of him. No, they go more back. Go more back. What are you talking about, Brian? You can't see him. Exactly. <laughs> see, Jeremy's funnier than John Cena. It's thanks. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't a... I think it would have to be Dave Batista, to be honest with you. Um, uh, Mortal Kombat 2 is going to be coming out. I don't know if it's coming out soon, but we should be <laughs> going to be coming out two years too late. <laughs> like, no, what, I what like the deal with the timing of these movies. Like, wh- what makes you think that the, the heat, whatever little heat you had for Mortal Kombat, is lasting into the middle of 2024? Hmm. Be honest with you, I don't know. It's a terrible movie. The spinning WWE belt was a time to be alive. <laughs> exactly. What do you like? That was like the, what is the spinning. Oh, the spinning belt. Um, the spinning belt. Yeah, he had a spinner on it. I honestly, and and I'm coming to the, the realization 
you know, recently, uh, over the last few months, that John Cena was the reason that I checked out of wrestling for like 15 <laughs> years. Because <laughs> I was a huge fan, you know, when I was little, and it was Bret Hart and Hogan and all them, right? And even bigger fan when it was The Rock and Stone Cold. And then I'm like, and then something happened. And I stopped watching it until right now. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that was the entirety of John Cena's career. And then pushing Brock Lesnar as, uh, I mean, I know that in, in the real world he was a wrestler and everything, but he was so awful in the ring and on the microphone, and I, I just could not understand why so many people loved him. Well, that's right. why they gave him Paul Heyman. Didn't help. Was the ugly belt of all time? The, the best belt was the Ultimate Warrior yellow belt, uh, Intercontinental belt. I'm still going with the million dollar belt. That was a good belt. When I when I do my universe, I'm making that the uh, the world championship. <laughs> Are you playing two K two K twenty four? You know, it's funny because uh, you know we, we talked about earlier with Dragon's Dogma. I haven't started the universe yet because I am just creating some characters. Big Big Reg, can you kick Jay for me, please? We will not allow that <laughs> slander here. <laughs> He is terrible on that's, the mic. That's not why. He's just completely uninteresting. True. Who's the, who's your I know we've asked this before, but Ronnie, who's your top three wrestlers? All time? All time. The Rock, the Hitman. And I would have at a certain time said Hulk Hogan. But that time is gone. Uh, <laughs> if we're if we're saying my, my favorites, uh, I'm going to say the last one is going to be a tie between Ricky the Dragon Steamboat uh, and, uh, and the Great Muda. Okay, Ricky Ricky's awesome. Yeah, Ri uh, you, know, and, uh, you, know, you never really got into hour long right? matches that were still entertaining. I, I used to watch wrestling when it was real. It was real. <laughs> yeah, you know how long it took me to pronounce it as, as a kid? Why didn't you just, Jay, why didn't you just say IC? Not hard. The IC belt. Because Jay doesn't take the easy way out. So. I love yeah. the classic IC, IC title. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I used to, I used to, Hulk Hogan used to be my guy until, you know. No. You know. Until you found out you weren't his guy. And, and thanks. And, and you all like to say, I like the racist. But. <laughs> we don't hmm. like him now, though. Greatest wrestlers of all time. That's, yeah. I'm gonna have to say Ultimate Warrior, even yeah. though he was lim very, li even though he's very limited, very, very limited. I mean, his entrance was amazing. The ropes. Yeah, huh? his entrance is amazing. <laughs> all he could do is shake the ropes. Like, right? Pretty much, yeah. Um, it took a while because I didn't like him with the Heart Foundation, but Bret Hart, he became the my excellent, guy. the ex uh, Ex excellence, excellence of execution. Of execution. The yeah. best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. Facts. And the third one, I didn't appreciate him until later, but Ricky the Dragon's Steamboat. That match he had with Ric Flair, epic. Yeah. Yeah. Should. I think I'm going to go Bret Hart. Hey, we'll go Bret Hart, Ric Flair. Roddy Popper. Hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you this about Ric Flair. Like he wasn't he was never one of my favorites, favorites. Like he was he was great on the mic, obviously, right? And he was and he was a great performer in the ring. But he was never like a like a personal favorite of mine, but I would never turn off a match that Ric Flair was in. Oh, um, Oh, I gotta add in somebody Triple. else. This is oh, Ridge. Ridge. That's insane. Man, that's a lot of white people for you. No. Listen, I gotta add somebody that's in a there. Lot of mid right there. I gotta I gotta add somebody in. Dusty Rhodes. I used to love Dusty Rhodes. I used to love Dusty too. Hey Jay. Yeah. Three. Mass Kane. Which which mass though? 
I think oh God, I'm gonna say this, I'm probably gonna get shit for it. I think Shawn Michaels is overrated. Agreed. A little bit. He was he was great, but you know. I part of the rockers. Him. I'll never forgive him for throwing Marty yeah. through that plate glass window. That was that was my favorite tag team ever. Really, the really? Rockers. So I, <laughs> those, were, those were those were my guys. And then when they went on that little barbershop show, and he threw Marty through that window, I was crushed. Really? <laughs> That's why I, I cheered so hard for Razor Ramon to beat his ass in that ladder match. Whoa, Ooh, Noah! Whoa, Noah! Whoa. Noah, Whoa. Say, Noah say, I wasn't Chris around. Benoit. I wasn't, Eddie, I wasn't around for that era, but. Mm. I never liked Chris Benoit. I never liked Chris Benoit. He looked so awkward when he was part of the uh, Four Horsemen. And, and the matches were so boring. Now, my favorite tag teams, I had two of them. The Road Warriors and the British Bulldogs. They were my tag teams. Um, was, was they used to roll with uh, Demolition. Those were his guys. And that means Jose was into some freaky shit. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you looking at me? Oh, I know those really, were they were wearing S and M shit. Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah, but we didn't know that. Oh, okay. Harlem, I Harlem to Heat, to, uh, bro. Oh my god, that 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 uh, they need to, that, they need uh to return to that era where they had like dedicated tag team. Yeah, but that uh, interview with Harlem Heat with Booker T. I know. <laughs> I need to bring it up. We coming for you. <laughs> I knew you were gonna bring that up. <laughs> oh, we only doing three. Shawn Michaels, Jeff Hardy, Kane. Jay, you just stay mid, huh? Hey, Jeff Hardy is <laughs> pretty awesome, man. Jeff Hardy was garbage. Jeff just because he could fly. Just because he decided yes, to because he could fly. Sure. Yeah, that yes. <laughs> no. Now these guys. I, I enjoyed the Dudley brothers. How are you gonna? How how can you possibly like the Dudley brothers and think Jeff Hardy was mid? They they fed off each other. It was it, so, like, it, first off because the, the Dudley brothers. I really Christian. believe. I, I really the believe. I, I, the well, no, no, the Dudleys were already established in ECW. Don't make a fuck about ECW, man. But but Nobody. the Dudleys. I really thought they were brothers. Right, it, it, and it's crazy because like I I was right there with you. Like I never, I didn't, I didn't put any thought into it. Right? I was like, yeah, one, one's adopted, whatever. I like they look exactly the same. They sound exactly the same. You ever, you ever see those? There's these TikToks where people go name something in wrestling you really thought you believed, in. and people were really like, I thought Undertaker and Kane were really brothers. <laughs> <laughs> like when someone told me they're not brothers, I argue with them. Like, no, nah, they're brothers. <laughs> like, how did the he hide them for so long? The hound in the mountain. Yeah. That was that was like, oh, uh, I think uh, I think my favorite tag team. I loved. Um, I always loved her, her Earthquake and Tugboat, or she turned into Earthquake. And, <laughs> always, those were always my first. Those two were funny as hell. Um, Man, Bam Bigelow. That was Jose Guerrero too. He was funny. Now, what, what, what is that? Dude. What is that? The Generation X. Degeneration who, X. Who was the little? Who was the little white X-Pac. guy? With, with, who was the little white guy with the jerry curl? X Pac. Oh, okay. The, yeah. or otherwise, no. One, one, two, one, three, two, three, kid. kid. <laughs> that kid was terrible. He was. Well. Edge and Christian. I like Edge and Christian in, in the brood. I didn't like him anywhere else. The Steiner brothers. Rick and Scott the Steiner, Steiner brothers. Oh, you, yeah. know the, you know the, the real answer for the greatest tag team, though? The, the Rock and Stock Connection. That was a good tag team. <laughs> they, they always got beat, though. They were though. hilarious. They are hilarious, though. They were, but they, they were like the fun tag. That's when you, that I think when you were talking about Rodney, now you can blame it on them. That's when they stopped taking tag teams seriously, when they started throwing. Mm-hmm. Random people together. Yeah, I used to love yeah. when you had like they, it would be like a whole other division where it was just yeah. tag teams. You know, that was great. And now it's just the Usos, or I mean, not <laughs> even them anymore. But oh uh, yeah, uh, um, the Outlaws were good. The they were like kind of just throwing yeah the Outlaws, Degeneration X, oh, new, yeah, the New yeah, Age yeah. Outlaws. They were really good. I don't know. You know, I didn't like any of DX. Oop. I didn't like any of DX. Yeah. 
I didn't like the, the Rockers. Oh, fuck you, Linda. I ain't over here talking about your, your racist ass favorite. <laughs> Ooh. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Oh yeah, the role, yeah, exactly. But the hey, rock, the they was like some normal. They was like two normal dudes. Just, they wasn't Brandy normal. Went, they rocked out. <laughs> Brandy, when Hendo, when Hendo's alone, he puts on "I'm a real American." <laughs> he's not. He's yeah, not even talking about him with this with this spike shoulder pad. <laughs> And those in front of that, and those in front of the marriage just going like this. Listen, listen. There's no, no, well, you know, brother, nothing, nothing more on. disappointing than, than Hogan turning racist because I, I was there. You know, he used to stand in that ring and pose for like literally 40 minutes after the pay per view was over. And I watched every goddamn second. And they kept on playing the music. That was my favorite song. It was catchy. It was catchy. It was catchy. Uh, the AP the APA was cool. Farouk and Bradshaw, they were cool. Mm-hmm. I like them. Uh, I two man power. That was so interesting when they paired them together. It was interesting because it was like at this weird time when like Stone Cold was trying to be heel and they still loved him. It was kind of weird. And Triple H was hated. I mean, he was always a heel for the most part. He was, but they loved Stone Cold because of the whole yeah. anti establishment thing. Nobody ever liked Triple H. Like there wasn't a time. Yeah, I don't, I don't like Triple H. I'm glad Blade killed him. <laughs> uh, Stone Cold uh, glass break was legend, especially when he came from the crowd. He, he never hmm. came from the crowd. What uh, about what about Goldberg? Fuck Goldberg. Uh, Goldberg was. Oh wow, uh, Lakers beat the 76ers Sixers. Um, Goldberg was really. You couldn't wrestle, but they did this weird thing of like doing the streak with him, which was weird, mm-hmm. and like. It was captivating because nobody had really talked about the streak. Like, like when he won the title, he won. You know, he was undefeated, and he had like the U.S. title at the same time. So people were like all jazzed about it. But then after he after he lost, it was just like you you can see how shitty of a wrestler he was. You know, I never cared for Goldberg. I was so WWF was my thing, but when NWO came around. I I was into NWO. I had the shirt and everything. I, I didn't get to the NWO thing. I was I there. When it was, I was there when it was NWA. You were. You were there. Yeah, was, yeah, WCW was, it, was, was Jerry Curl and all, huh? All around. It, it was worse all around. You never had a Jerry Curl though. Was the best thing wrestling ever did. Yeah. Well, dude, you can you can say what you want, but when Hogan turned heel. And the way it went down, like that was amazing. And there was no internet. Nobody knew about it. It Was like everybody knew Cody was. Yeah, everyone knew Cody was showing up to WrestleMania when he showed up. Everybody Mm -hmm. knew like all this stuff. Nobody knew what was going on. Because fans like to ruin things for themselves and then complain that they ruin things for themselves. Who was the most annoying wrestler to us? Roddy Roddy Piper. You didn't like Roddy Roddy Piper. Couldn't stand him. But then. I saw uh dark side of the ring on one of them things, and I was like, yo, Roddy was that dude. <laughs> yeah. I just couldn't stand it back then because that was a Hulk Hogan thing. Honestly, Ultimate Warrior. I can see that. For me, it was uh Chris Benoit, Dean Malenko. Uh I didn't yeah, you know, I never liked Eddie Guerrero. Um wow. you know, Brock Lesnar. There's a, 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 a list. It's a list. Most Mine was, most was MVP. MVP. <laughs> he hated that man. Oh, no. So every time I, every time I see Jay now, I'm going to do it. Bowling. <laughs> <laughs> most annoying wrestler than me, Ric Flair. Uh, Best thing about WCW was a cruiserweight division. Sting was the only good thing about WCW. No, NWO was great. NWO was really good. Oh, Red Ronda Red Rousey. Ronda Rousey. Yeah, agreed. Terrible. I didn't, I didn't even watch it wrestling. Terrible and, and unbelievably disrespectful. I like Gober, but yeah, he was very stiff. Stevie Ray got an interview where Lord, Lord uh, Regal made Gober look bad in the match. Yeah, it's the infamous. They told him to do a 15-minute match, and it looked really bad. Hmm. Uh, and, and yeah, Gober was really not that good. And he almost killed The Undertaker in Saudi Arabia. And, and yeah, he went to go do a jack uh um uh jackknife uh uh slam 
and he freaking dropped basically to put Undertaker on his neck. Shit. And he ended Brett's career. That's why Brett hates him. Brett fucking hates hates every time. Yeah, it doesn't matter what you ask Brett Hart. He will tell you how much he hates Goldberg. <laughs> That's gonna be part of the answer. Yeah. Wow. I I think another annoying wrestler for me honestly had to Honestly was Stone Logan Cold. Paul. Stone Cold. <laughs> well, because not because he was good, but and I get good what he did, but they overrate him so much now. Like Okay, cool. Yeah, he was this cool guy, but like his wrestling wasn't that great. Like it was the and same thing. He was a brawler. Him and The Rock took it to to levels it never been. I think I think the names took it to levels. The wrestling did. Every time Shaman Man would try to wrestle, it's all it the show. Me off. It's all yeah, the show. Yeah, was the worst wrestler to step in there. I mean, there's been some pretty big... Remember the big uh, Gonzalez guy that wrestled Undertaker and he wore a monkey suit? Or not a monkey suit, but like a fur body suit? Yeah. That guy was horrible. Remember uh, Omas of the current WWE? Yeah, that dude's Omas. awful. Well, what, what was uh, the tall Middle Eastern? Or is he Middle Eastern or something? Wasn't he in um, Longest Yard 2? What was his name? I don't fucking know. I don't watch it a lot. I forgot what his name is. Mm. Let me look. Mm-hmm. Let me look. Mm-hmm. Don't get don't get crazy. Mm-hmm. Don't get crazy. Uh, the great colleague. The great colleague. Thank you. That guy. That guy was horrible. Yeah, most of the was really good guys are bad. Was the great Collie the in Longest Short or was it somebody uh, else? I think he was. Dark side of the ring. You, we're doing a show. He was eating and drinking beer. Like, I, I, you try to watch TV. It? It's not really the same. No, no what, is wrong, what is wrong? What is wrong with me drinking a beer? I'm just trying to look something up. Uh-huh, okay. Okay. I'm not, well, I'm not gonna watch it. Yeah, all right. Uh-huh. You know, you know what we need to bring back, Brandy? We need yeah. to bring back remember old school pride when people like just out of weight classes would fight each other? Yeah. And bring back Bob Sapp first. <laughs> remember when Bob Sapp was like fighting Butterbean? <laughs> Butterbean. Yeah. Well, you know that guy that guy that guy got all um um it like had back problems and everything. And then he started doing something. And he lost a bunch of weight. And he's back to like being able to move and stuff. Yes, good for him. Yeah. Okay. So oh, yeah, Greg Holly was in the longest yard. Okay, let's make sure. Flying Brian Pillman. Ahmed Johnson, big and big Van Vader was the way the same. The was the same way. But Ahmed got interviews where he admits he he is green. Yeah. He was the ping pong player in the longest yard. Yeah. I was I wasn't sure because I thought it was a Hispanic guy. Um, Mark Henry is very underrated. I wasn't. You didn't like you didn't like the House of Pain. He was very bad. You didn't like Sexual Chocolate. That should be that should be uh, Hendo's intro song when when he does a a podcast with Yolanda. Sexual Chocolate. Remember the remember the great Val Venus. You were just so disrespectful. Yeah. The great, the great Val Venus was amazing. They, 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 they were like, yeah. Or was he just yeah, a knockoff Rick Rude? No, but he was better because he actually took the X-rated stuff to a level. Remember when he got his wee wee ch- uh, caned? It was hilarious. Better. Um. What? Who could, who could never look at Tracy Moore in the same after the longest yard? <laughs> the big Lebowski. Lebowski, yep. Who was that? I just watched a thing today about that. It was um one of the Waynes brothers. They were talking about how they were like, when white people do, you know, they do drag actors, they're brilliant. But when black people do it, black, you know, our community comes after us. 
Mm-hmm. That's very interesting. That's a very interesting thing. Yeah. Interesting. Very much a discussion fight. for discussion for another time, because you know, Hendo wants to watch Dark Side of the Ring now. Is he looking at me? Looking at you? I don't is he know. Looking, is, is, he looking at, at, is he looking at pictures of candy bars that he can't eat? <laughs> Blink more. Blink twice. No. Is it? God damn, man. So disrespectful. Really? Really, really is. Hmm. Unbelievable. Well, that's right. Hello, ladies. That was a great time, but then also you go back and look, and there was some really cringe stuff that they did. Yeah. I was like, uh, wow. Yeah, okay. Vince, is a, Vince is a terrible person. Very, very much. A lot of shit, on, shit on people. Huh? You mentioned Earthquake earlier. Dark Side of the Ring did an, ep- an episode on him a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I, I heard about that. I haven't watched it yet. I you know, know what I was watching today. Episodes. You know what? You know what I was watching today, Rodney? I went to go get my hair cut. And freaking um Iron Man was on the first one. Mm-hmm. I was watching it. And it got to right before he went to the Middle Eastern country when he first has the suit complete. It, it was right right before there. And I was just like thinking, like, God damn, we this is where we started with the MCU and like how far we come. Yeah. It was like crazy to watch. That, that movie was not very good. It was all right. It wasn't. Was I was saying, yeah, it was just it was it was there. And what's then, your favorite? What's your favorite Phase One movie? Phase One movie. Um, I gotta try and remember exactly what it all in is in Phase One. The um, Godfather, who was Papa Shango. He was who else was he? He was the Godfather, Papa Shango. He was some other ones. Okay. And remember, he would always try to, before wrestling, he goes, you you, you give me the win, and I'm going to give you some hoes. <laughs> <laughs> he might have been watching that at 15. Um, um, let me see here. Phase was saying, saying the, the Avengers. Okay, yeah, it probably would be the Avengers. Yeah, phase one was not great. <laughs> What do you consider phase one movies? It was like Captain uh, America. Was, uh, Iron Man, The Incredible Hulk, Iron Man 2, Thor, Captain America, and The Avengers. I, was, I, was, I say Captain America. I always liked that movie. Mm. Hendo? The Avengers. Not far. Yeah, Captain America sucked. I liked a it. A lot. I mean, it's not my bad. It's not bad things. No, you like bad things. No, I don't. I like good clearly, things. Clearly, clearly like you like the Panthers, bad. so bad things. I like the Steelers. Great things. Okay. Sure. <laughs> who are you looking at when you say that? <laughs> you like look over there and it's like, who are you looking at? <laughs> it's just, I don't know, man. So disrespectful. But yeah, you know, I do remember the racism tickles you. Does not take away, and there was no racism in that. No, movie. In no, that movie? The Steelers. Who's racist in the Steelers? They came up with the rule to hire black Every, people. Everyone who roots for them. Oh my God, get out of here. I mean, you literally just told us the story about your racist friend on Facebook. What racist friend on Facebook? Okay, you know what? Calm it down. Pay <laughs> down. <laughs> But the one who who couldn't stand Mike Vick and that wasn't and a friend. That was just somebody hey, in a hey, random user, group. You know what? Whatever, man. I don't see non friends posts on Facebook, so I just assume I was your friend. <laughs> it's in a group. I hate you. A uh, group of racist uh, Steelers fans, probably with their white hoods. Mm-hmm. Their white hoods. Is it, is it a damn shame? Yeah. I asked Ferris where he was, by the way. And you want to hear his response to me was 
figuring out what is being said at the beginning of Say My Name. That's That was the response to where, <laughs> where are you at? Oh, my God. Apparently, he's having an argument about what was being said at the beginning. I'm like, you can just Google it. <laughs> right, Jimmy? Not my racist friends, but... Uh, and, and though, you, you got real quiet like Suge did when he lost his bet in the middle of our live stream. I didn't. That's right? not what lost happened. Bet? Oh, you that's didn't see that? Yeah, we no, were remember, you, remember he was then, too busy? He was too busy oh, in, was in another in stream. The, in, the, in the overtime, yeah, we were talking, and... You know, Shug was very active and engaged in the conversation. And then all of a sudden, like, he wasn't talking, but, like, all of a sudden he just leaned back in his chair and he got all quiet and he's like, <sighs> like oh, what's wrong? What's wrong? That's what's not that? what happened. And then, like, five minutes later, he's like, oh, you know, I lost my bet. That's not what happened. I hate you. That's exactly what happened. You can you. ask anybody who was watching. I hate you. All right. I think we're going to get out of here. Uh, make sure to check out Hendo tomorrow with Yolanda. Check out Hanging oh, with Hendo. Talk with Yolanda. And then Sunday, Hendo, Hendo tomorrow. Check out what is your show, guys? It's called on Sunday. We're not, we're not doing a show on Sunday. Any given Sunday. Any given Sunday. We're not doing a show on Sunday. We are doing a show on Sunday. We're not doing a show on Sunday. You already skipped last week. Uh, no, I didn't. I got you a replacement for last week. You got, I got a replacement. <laughs> you got nothing. You just like, fuck you. I'm not doing uh, you, you see that now he's all animated. Now, now that he wants to sling insults at people. Now, insults. Now I just told fun. the truth. Now it's fun for him. Yeah. No, but yeah, we're not doing that show this week. Yeah, we are. No, we're not. You just told me earlier so much news. <laughs> that was a joke because y'all have no news. <laughs> Because <laughs> your franchise is terrible. Wow. He's so hurtful, huh? No, I'm not. Oh, There's nothing hurtful about that. You're so hurtful, Ronnie. But all right, we're going to get out of here. Jared, you ain't got to lie. <laughs> Jared's a good dude. Shout out to Jared. Yeah, all right, we're going to get out of here. Have a good night. Talk to y'all later. <laughs>